Had very little time to prepare, but a whole lot to do. Three locally based ships returned to Norfolk after helping those in New Jersey and New York ravaged by Sandy. Penny Josiah's Art Khan was on the pier when the USS Wasp tied up. He has stories from local sailors and Marines. Art? Tom, the three ships involved were the USS Wasp and the USS San Antonio, both based in Norfolk, and out of Little Creek, the USS Carter Hall. Working with our local sailors was the 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit out of Camp Lejeune. The Wasp Amphibious Readiness Group responded quickly on the heels of Hurricane Sandy. It hasn't even been two weeks, so this, is, this has been an easy one. The USS Wasp didn't have to travel far on the return trip to Norfolk, but when the sailors and Marines arrived off the New York, New Jersey coast, it looked like another world. To walk the streets of Staten Island uh, and then to walk the streets of uh, the Rockaway Peninsula area of New York, um, the devastation was incredible. Uh, it looked like a snowstorm of sand had hit Rockaway. The commander of the Wasp Amphibious Group, Captain Tim Sprato, said it quickly became apparent that their fellow Americans needed help fast. There were some people that were uh, that were really suffering in those in those first days. Both Marines and sailors were put to work repairing infrastructure and delivering relief supplies. So we were flying 10 hours straight in the starboard delta pattern, swapping out crews every uh, two to three hours. Tim Anderson's group flew search and rescue operations to cover the larger choppers, ferrying Marines and supplies ashore. He has flown demanding missions like this before. I was a part of uh, Hurricane Katrina's relief efforts. When things like Katrina happen, when things like Hurricane Sandy hits New York, we want to be there to help. And we're just so fortunate that my husband was able to be there. She, she's in the Navy, she understands, so doing humanitarian work, you know, it's, it's no problem. Even though the couple had just gotten married when he got orders to ship out. Well, my husband and I, we met on a humanitarian mission. Now they meet a lot on the pier at Naval Station Norfolk. <laughs> yeah. And the fact is, the sailors and Marines I spoke with today told me this mission was a source of pride for them, a chance to help out their fellow Americans. I'll have more on that part of the story ahead in our 6 o'clock newscast to provide you with a different perspective of Veterans Day remembrances. Art Khan, 10 on your side.